Okay, next one I got, uh, Devil Wears Prada. I got this because I bought some things from HMV and the, the deals flash up if you spend over a certain amount. So this was 3 99 Hadn't seen it and I wanted to see it because it's got Meryl Streep in it. So picked that up for 3 99 Um... Yeah, it looks, looks like a fun movie. Not much more I can say. Pretty much everyone who's seen it has said it, you know, it's just just a fun movie, so. And then I got I got this off eBay for like four pound. It's basic basic instinct, the ice pack version. Limited just a limited edition set basically. This plastic's not very good but kind of looks good for displaying so this is the DVD itself as you can see that's just plastic made to look like glass and um, ice this is the 10th anniversary special edition and it's got some art cards in it Um, disc one, the film, and the uh, bonus features. I've always liked uh, Basic Instinct. Um, again, I haven't watched this in ages, but it looks like a nice set. So, sorry, I haven't got much to say. It's just I generally. I haven't seen that in ages and some of the things I haven't seen before so and I got Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy the original TV series <clears throat> um, when was this out? in the 80s at some point um, basically when the film came out it was like two or three years ago now the film with Martin Freeman came out they started showing this on late night BBC Two, and I started watching it, and it was really, really fun to watch. Like, really old school British nostalgia going on. So, I didn't get to finish the series, but I watched about half of it, and um, it was, it's fun. I've never read the books, and I've never, um, n never really knew much about Hitchhiker's Guide until. The movie came out, but it's got lots of special features. It's got the making of, additional stuff, um, scenes of the radio series, um, original BBC Two trailer. That'd be fun. Behind the scenes, outtakes, all that sort of stuff. It's only six episodes, as most British TV shows are. But um, HMV had this for like seven ninety nine. A couple of weeks ago, and I was supposed to buy it, but I forgot. That was an offer of the week, I think. Chapter list there, and I went to buy it, and it had gone back up to. I don't. I think it's twelve ninety nine now, which is still cheap for that. But I got it off Amazon Marketplace for about seven pounds. Amazon Marketplace has been good to me lately. Next one I got was Panic Room. And I got this one from CD Wow for three ninety nine. I think it's the Region One. It's a Region One free disc set. Um, I don't know how this differs from the Region Two free disc set, but if I can get it out, Ugh. hang on a minute. Okay, um, opens like this kind of different, it's got the book thing in the middle, the main disc, New York special features and more special features, just folds like that, um, pre-production, disc 2 has got six featurettes on pre-production and then shooting panic room, an hour long documentary, disc 3 has got 
sequence breakdowns, 21 documentaries and featurettes on visual effects, sound design, multi-angle look, scoring, plus a few surprises. Yeah, um, I probably won't, sadly enough, probably won't watch most of those, but, um, I couldn't pass up that price for a free disc set. Panic Room is good, I thought it was fun, I like, um, I like claustrophobic films, this is very claustrophobic, and I love Jodie Foster, she's awesome, um, I just think it's a really good sort of e on the edge of your seat thriller, you know, nothing particularly special, but it's good, you know, watch it with some friends and stuff, the Indiana Jones movie collection box set. It's about time I got this, really. I think it's a an essential in most people's collections, and I've been meaning to get it, but I'm a bit tight, so. This is 14.99, which I'm happy with. Harrison Ford there. I believe the old box set had big cases, but I'm quite happy to get the thin cases, because shelf space is, you know, a bit tricky. Just got, that's what it looks like. What's the bonus disc? It's got lots of features. And then it's got a disc, a disc, a booklet on Indiana Jones. Um, this is sort of like the Godfather trilogy. It's got a bonus disc that looks like that. Here we got Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, classic. I think everyone's seen this. I used to love this film when I was younger, as most people did. Um, Last Crusade. I remember that one pretty well. I like that one. Same sort of disc. Temple of Doom. Yeah. As, f as far as I can remember, I liked all these movies. Um... I think the first one's probably the fa my favourite. Yeah, along with Back to the Future, I think this is one of those essential DVD collection box sets. The next one's probably my greatest purchase of last week, the Alien Quadrilogy. It's got a really cool shimmery raised case. Um, yeah, this is an essential to everyone's DVD collection as well. Um, again, it was a price thing. I think it came down to 14.99, which I was going to buy it. But just forgot an HMV habit for 9.99 at the moment. Put that there. Yeah. So, that's what it looks like. Um... I don't know if they've changed the case recently, or our case has always been different to the Region 1, but I think ours is a bit easier to access. Okay, so, open it like so, and you have your booklet, which is quite thick. All about the movies and stuff, and... Bonus features. Okay, so you've got Alien, which I've always loved. I was um, always a bit scared of this as a kid. I think I watched too many movies as a child. Um, Alien bonus features. Aliens. I like this. Um, not as much as Alien, but then again, rarely sequels are ever as good. Aliens. Bonus features. Um, Alien 3. I've only seen parts of this, and apparently it's not as good, but um, hey. Alien 3. And then Alien Resurrection, I've never seen. Um, and Alien Resurrection bonus features. And then you've just got a sort of bonus disc for overall features, really. 
So, yeah, I'm really happy with that set. I just, if you haven't got it, 9.99, you seriously need to go and get it. I doubt it will stay at this price for very long. Sort of the DVD bargain of the century. Okay, those are my DVD pickups of last week. Quite a lot. Um, I've still got plenty of DVDs on order. Um, and I'll probably pick some more up. I'm just a bit addicted at the moment, as you can tell. i um, looking forward to putting all these on the shelf, because I don't put any of them on the shelves until I've done my update, otherwise I'll forget what I've got. So and these will take up some space, so I'm going to get on with that. And keep up all your updates, guys, and I'll be back very soon with another one.